Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What are the duties of the Vice President of the United States? The Vice President of the United States holds a unique and multifaceted role within the federal government. One of the primary duties is to be ready to assume the presidency if the president is unable to perform their duties due to death, resignation, or incapacitation, 4%. Under Article 2, Section 1 of the U.S. Constitution, the Vice President takes over the Presidency in case of a vacancy or the President's inability to discharge their powers and duties. The Vice President also serves as the President of the Senate, a role established by Article 1, Section 3 of the Constitution. In this capacity, the Vice President presides over the Senate, but does not have a vote unless there is a tie. In the event of a tie in the Senate, the vice president has the authority to cast the deciding vote. This has occurred 243 times and involved 35 different vice presidents. Another formal duty of the vice president is to preside over and certify the tally of electoral college votes after a presidential election. The vice president is also a member of the U.S. cabinet and the National Security Council, participating in executive government and national security matters. Men. This involvement includes attending cabinet meetings and contributing to the administration's legislative priorities. The 25th Amendment to the Constitution formalized the process for filling a vacancy in the office of the vice president, allowing the president to nominate a new vice president, subject to confirmation by a majority vote in both houses of Congress. Additionally, the vice president can play a pivotal role in determining the president's ability to serve, working in conjunction with a majority of the cabinet or a disability board to notify Congress of the president's inability to discharge their duties. The vice president does not have term limits but is subject to the same eligibility criteria as the president, including being a natural born citizen, at least 35 years old, and a resident of the United States for at least 14 years. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.